It's like I'm chasing after the wrinkles. Come back skin, come back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I got a package today. I wanted to get on here and go through it with you. I'm also gonna apply some makeup. I haven't really gone through it yet and I kind of forget. I have the Kosas Brow Pop Nano. This came highly recommended so I wanted to try it. I purchased a Tower 28 blush. I got my birthday gift. This is the Patrick Ta Lip Duo, I believe, Little Minis. I also picked up the Synchro Skin Concealer by Shiseido. I treated myself to a YSL lipstick. This one is the Rouge Volupte de Shine Oil Stick. I actually have a few things Shiseido. So these are the eye pencils. Micro Liner Ink. I'm confused. Did I get a blush? I meant to get the powder. No, I got the blush and I got number two. I was actually thinking that, oh goodness, I thought I was getting a different color in the powder. Hmm. Do I want a loose blush? I'm gonna set that aside for a second. I really wanted to try a different color in this one because this isn't my favorite and I seem to be one of the only ones that's not loving this as much as everybody else. So I thought maybe I got it in the wrong color and that's really what I wanted. I also ordered the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch. This is a pink powder. I picked up, I keep saying I picked up, but I ordered. I also got the Patrick Ta Bronzing Duo. Yeah, Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. The packaging is really pretty. I should show you guys before I get my fingerprints all over it. I hope it's not too yellow. We shall see. This is the LYS Mini Blushes. And that was a little Christmas special where you could get the minis. I'm excited, let me open this one. I like it when they offer minis because you know, I'm, I don't go through blushes very often. Oh, are these mini? They don't seem mini. They don't actually seem mini at all. Huh, so these are cream blushes. I believe that you could probably use these for lipsticks or lip colors as well. And then that one. And yesterday I went into the store and I wanted to try this out. This is a Squalane Rose Vegan Lip Balm. And I've already used this. My lips were so dry when I went into Sephora. So I opened it up before I even paid for it and put it on my lips. And I wanted to try a few Sephora brand products. So I've got a cream eyeshadow stick, one in nude, which I'm gonna use for under, well, I bought this one too. So I wanted a nude for lining my eye. And I also wanted to try something else other than Painterly, other than Soft Ochre from MAC. I always use Bobbi Brown's Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks, the Caviar Sticks from Laura Mercier, and I just wanted to see if I could find something a little less expensive for you guys. So that is what the nude is for, and this color is Eggplant, so I'm excited about that. Those are the only eyeshadows I got, so I'll make a look out of this one. And I also picked up a brow pencil from Sephora. This color is in, I believe it's Chestnut Brown, and I thought that looked actually similar to my hair, even though I'm a ginger. All right, enough talking about that. Let's just get going. My skin is already prepped. I don't think I have to put anything else on it. Mm, my skin does feel a little bit tight. I'm gonna use the Rich Priming Serum. I've shown this quite a bit in my videos. I like it for dry skin. My skin likes it and it's hydrating as well. So it's perfect right now for when my skin is feeling a little bit tight. I didn't moisturize it as well today for some reason. Oh, that always feels so good. I feel like I'm the only one talking about it. What do we think? I'm gonna start off with two pumps. See, I think that matches my hand okay. Yeah, I think I might've picked a good color. I'm just gonna tap it on first and then I'll spread it out. Try to make this go the whole way. I use the Retinel product at night by Murad, so it takes my self tan off my face really quickly. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a really light coverage. I dressed right up for you guys today. You should see my shirt, Run DMC. <laughs> I used to work out in this top. I'm doing a try on video soon though. I went to Aritzia yesterday. I was on my way to Sephora and then I got sidetracked and I allowed myself time to shop and try things on. Normally, I don't like trying things on in the store. I did see somebody talk about them being on commission and their service being so good. Boy, was it ever. She even texted me her phone number and told me to call her or text her whenever I was about to come in. I feel so bougie, so I can't wait to try those clothes on. I wanna make myself look really good to try them on, do the clothes some justice. I tried them on yesterday and I was having such bad makeup day. <laughs> and when I was looking in the mirror, I'm like, 
yuck. I mean, not yuck, but I felt fancy in the clothes, so I kind of felt I wanted to look fancy with my makeup. This almost feels like a tinted moisturizer. The only thing is, is it doesn't cover my hyperpigmentation marks. I should have put the primer on one side and not on the other. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I'm gonna see if I can build it up on those areas. Oof, the Luminous Silk Foundation is normally $93 in Canada. Oof, I got it for $74.40. Is the foundation made out of silk? I'm gonna go ahead with eyes then, so let me open this up. This color is called Stone Matte and Funny, it doesn't seem like a stone color. And this is $19 originally, and I got it for $13.30. That's more like it. So I'm hoping that this works out. This is a great foundation to match a tan though. I keep getting distracted because I'm putting this down because I'm getting mad, I'm getting frustrated. I don't know, did my camera turn off when I did this? Was I spending too much time unraveling this thing? Anyway, it's pretty straightforward. I applied this all over my lid. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. This is why people pay for packaging. Cause this is enough to, like if I was PMSing right now, which I don't have that anymore, I'd be throwing it. This is the eggplant. And I know that we'll be able to blend that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna start off here and start showing you what could actually be done with this product. I'm gonna take an angled brush and blend it in. Could also run my brush along the product to make it a little bit more precise. This eye is shaped differently, so bear with me. So I'm gonna look straight ahead and point my brush out like this. Yeah. And then connect the two. Are they even? Not bad. Make sure when you're doing your eyeliner that this is filled in. You don't wanna see a space between your liner and your lash line. And I don't bring it right in because it closes my eyes, but if you have eyes that are wider set, feel free to bring that in. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but I don't like it on me when I make it too dark inside. I am gonna blend it a little bit though. This eye is much droopier than this eye. All right, that looks good. I like that color a lot. Okay, my foundation has set. So let me just see if I can build this up. This is where my problem areas are. If I didn't have those, I'd be much more comfortable. So I feel like building it up is making it darker in those areas. It kind of looks like a bronzer and it is blending it better. Might as well put it up here. Next to concealer, this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Reflecting Concealer. I got 201 light. It should be interesting because this is fairly dark. It's quite a small package, eh? This might be a little bit light. Oh yeah, I think that's a lot light. Hmm. Let me just try that little bit on this eye and it may not work for this video. I definitely can be this fair. So I can wait and try it when I've lost some of my self tan. Hey guys, I have a favor to ask of you. Can you let me know in the comments section below if this section of the video helps you? Normally, I feel like this is boring, so I speed it up, but I didn't do that this time. So let me know if you want me to speed it up and just get through the concealer application or if it helps you to see it in real time. That would help me a lot. Thanks. That's not bad. It's Halloween, guys. I have no plans, and I don't know if I have enough chocolate. We opened it too early, and I don't have willpower. And my son was home, and he has willpower, but not that weekend. This is nice. I am having really good luck with concealers these days. That's pretty. Yeah. Just down my nose. My nose has been looking red lately. And 
and I'm actually gonna go right under my eye there. And a little around my nose. I don't know why I do this because I blow it all the time. It is luminous in a great way. I see why people like this. And you don't need to put a lot on your brush or on your skin because it slides so nicely like a tinted moisturizer. I don't know if I'm gonna be sorry, but I'm gonna use a little bit of the eggplant. I'm actually gonna brush an eyeshadow brush on it. This is an Angie Hot and Flashy 212, by the way. I'm tapping a little bit on my hand. And then, whoop. I want to go over this area a little bit, see if I can use it as an eyeshadow properly. I could have just put it on directly. I'll do that on this eye. So blending. And I'm pulling it up as I go. So little, little bits up, up, up. and then dragging. That's smooth. That's pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit, oof, I hope I'm not sorry. Oof, that's why I blended it on my brush first. Why did I put, oof. Okay, this is just gonna be two different looks. One is very soft. Not that I planned this out. And this one, I'm gonna use a different brush. This is a Real Techniques brush. I wanna get this blended fairly fast before it sets. God, I couldn't have gone for a brown, eh? I had to go for a eggplant. That is gonna be hard to get off. Go, go, go. I'm pushing just a little bit harder to make sure, there, I'm getting it. Okay, not so scary. And I need to lift this edge. So I'm just flicking it up. When I flick it, my brush falls off naturally. Not bad. Now I have to put another color on obviously to blend the edges there. I have a feeling these are gonna be hard to build, but let's give it a go. So this one looks more pink to me. It's like I'm chasing after the wrinkles. Come back skin, come back. Interesting, it really does have that pink or is that because I'm rubbing? <laughs> I don't think so though. It's really got a pink undertone to it. So when you blend it out, it, yeah, it just reflects more pink. Good thing I love doing makeup. I could see how some people might get frustrated. Let's be careful now. We'll try it this way. Change brush. It's not going good. This is the time where we start over. That was going from bad to worse. And I don't think it was the product's fault. I was just playing and taking it a little too far. Right, so we know that this works as a base, which is good. And we can see that that stays. So with the right application, these are really good. <laughs> All right, let's clear this up one more time. Start over again. Another thing I love about products like this is that you can travel with these so easily. Rather than traveling with a glass jar, this won't take up any room or add weight. Okay, I'm gonna give my eyes a little bit of a break. 
I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario Light Medium Soft Sculpt Transforming Blur Powder. I looked for my Bobbi Brown Medium Bronzer on Sephora and I couldn't find it. In fact, I couldn't find a lot of Bobbi Brown products on there. I'm not sure what's happening. So I'm placing it gently there because I don't wanna buff and expose those unwanted hyperpigmentation marks. And I'm placing it with a stiffer brush a little bit right here. And then up on my forehead. That's very glowy. Some people may not like that. I generally wouldn't do my makeup like this. It is pretty. And with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Givenchy under my eye. Oh, I hardly have any creasing. And just set there. Maybe that was my problem as I tried to use it all over my face. I feel like I have the JLo glow. See in here, you guys see right there. I generally like a little bit more coverage there because I do have discoloration. Hmm. I do like this. All right, which blush am I gonna use today? I really went hard for Givenchy. This is number 51 Organza. I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this one. An Allure Beauty Award. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Let me see what this looks like on my hand. Is there a glow? There's no shimmer in this, but it's not overly matte either. I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. I don't want it going up too high. That one's better. Okay, I did I get a lipstick? Yeah, I did. Since my lips are dry, let me put this on. It's a lighter texture than Laneige or the lip balm from Ilia. So if you're not wanting that real high shine, this would be for you. I'm gonna show you. That's Laneige, so you can see how thick that one is. This one's Ilia. The Ilia is dripping a little bit and the Laneige is not. And then we've got the Biosance. So this one's the Biosance. This one is Ilia and this one is Laneige. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, the Ilia is really catching the light. You see how the Biosense doesn't have that glossiness to it versus the Ilia and the Laneige? This one would be safe to give to a man or a straight man. Since I don't have another eyeshadow and I don't wanna deal with the eggplant again, although I did really like it for an, an eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Soft Sculpt and put it in my crease. I'm just gonna go for a natural eye look. Gonna put it all over actually. I got some of the shadow stick in my eyelash, so hopefully that doesn't mess up my mascara. I feel like I should be going to a beach. I have to figure out my lighting so that my sh there's not a shadow here. I know I need to bring my lights out to the side more. I have to figure that out. I think I need a ring light. Oh yeah, I do have another liner. Should I go for this or have I done enough to my eyes? So these liners are really thin. This is the micro liner from Shiseido, that's the plum. You see how fine that is? Because it's so thin, I am able to go right in here. It actually gives you a lot of control. That's nice, guys. No, I'm playing too much. And of course you can make it thicker.
I like this eye better, but this is also my bigger eye. No, this isn't my bigger eye. This is my squishier eye. Hmm. Well, you get the idea. Also very easy to tight line. Somebody asked me the other day if I tight line and I don't normally because it transfers down to my bottom lash line, but this isn't. I'm gonna clean this one up because I want that more lifted. Wish me luck. You know, I'm trying to figure this aging thing out too. I never used to have that issue. Hmm, I kinda wanna, this Q-tip is too round. I have a squared off brush like this that hopefully will work to not mess that up completely. I dipped it into my Missler water. Better. Yeah. Now I'm gonna clean it up with a little bit of concealer. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in because I think it's really important for you to see if you make a mistake, it's okay, and how to fix the mistake. I don't ever pretend to be perfect or know it all, and every day is a new learning experience for me because my eyes keep dropping, of course. All of us are in the same boat. We have to relearn how to do our eye makeup as <laughs> kind of day by day, honestly. I don't have a new mascara, so I'm gonna use the One Coat Wow. I'm still trying to figure out how much I like this. So far it's really good and I haven't had an issue with it flaking or transferring on me. You see when I put my mascara on that there's a few holes in there. I need to go back and touch up right close to the lash line. Do you see it? That's really important if you can do that. Of course, I'm gonna let my mascara dry and then go back in. Yeah, that would bug me. I like that clean look for a change. Oh, I forgot to powder my forehead. And when I do that, I go over my brows a little bit just to make sure that the brow product will adhere better. If it's slippery, it's not gonna last. Now for the Kosas Brow Pop Nano. It is very tiny and I almost didn't buy it because it looks so tiny. And then I saw somebody else review it and it's the same size as the other ones, like as Anastasia Beverly Hills and all the rest of them. So I ordered soft brown. I did just tint my eyebrows and eyelashes. I posted that video today if you wanna go watch. Normally they're very fair. And I have leftover microblading, which is pink, not pretty. Oh, I like this. This is nice. I'm gonna try it again. Let's see. I try to be cool like that to have bigger brows, but I'm just not cool like that. It's gotta be finer. It does have a spoolie on the bottom. This area right here is bald, so I wanna make sure to fill that in. This is what I often see when I'm doing my online consultations with people is they can fix up their brows or polish their brows a little bit by making this line a gradual slope by connecting this area to this area. So I don't want to see a bald spot. I want to see a gradual line, like a soft line, not a and then I fill it a little bit in here too. Little flicks. I like the color, I like the sharpness of the pencil. the accuracy I can get, but it's not too much.
work it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with my plum and I'm gonna lift up this area right here. And I'm gonna go from above so I don't mess up my mascara. You see, just by filling that hole, how much better that is. It's seamless, it's not distracting. Yeah, I feel better. I wanna show these in a different video, but I will swatch them for you. And then I'll do a more detailed video later. So this is a clean beauty brand. All the reviews I've seen with LYS are good reviews. This one is called Higher Standard. It's a satin matte cream blush. This one is called Self Love Shimmer. And this one is called Humble. I would wear all of these. It's actually giving me a little bit of a stain, yay. And next for my lips, I'm gonna use the Rouge Volupte Shine, and this is in Rose Lulu. And that one is in Nude Lingerie. The packaging of these are so stunning. I've never owned anything so fancy. The lipstick component shows the color on the outside. It is a sheer color. Let me see what this looks like on its own. Oh, what does that smell like? Mango? Does it smell like mango? Oh, that's so pretty. I don't even think I'm gonna use a lip liner because this is a very fresh, almost summery look. <laughs> I know it's the wrong season, guys. Sorry about that. This is my favorite kind of look, doesn't matter what season it is. I really don't think that you have to change your makeup for the season. You do what you like. All right, let's go through this. The foundation is beautiful. It definitely has, to me, I think a light coverage. And I like that. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a sheer coverage. It's a very natural look and it is definitely beautiful for mature skin. If you have oily skin and you've tried the Luminous Silk, let me know if you like it. I don't think you would because it's luminous and usually oily skin people don't like luminous foundations, but I think it feels really nice on my skin. I love the Kosas Brow. I love the lipstick and the, the Shiseido eyeliner is really nice. The blush is beautiful. I don't think I should have used the Soft Sculpt on my cheeks. It's really pretty on camera, but in person, it's a little much for me. Not bad, just not my style. It's pretty, but I do wish I had a bit more coverage here. You see? I'm really liking the Shiseido concealer. That's a good one. And I had a feeling that that was gonna be the case. I saw really good reviews on that one. I think that's it. Let me know if you like this video and if it helped you at all. It's always a little bit scattered in my videos, but I think that's why a lot of you say that it seems like I'm talking directly to you, and I am, <laughs> none of this is planned. I'm just talking things through like I would if you were my friend. So if you would rather me be more organized, also let me know, I can handle it. And if I do need to be more organized, I don't think I can upload as much content. And I upload, as you may know, over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube. So it's a lot for my brain to handle, but if that's what you want, if you'd like me to be more organized, I will definitely try my best. I am trying, <laughs> it's just not going very well. I'd also love to know if you purchased anything at the Sephora Savings Event. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I will create another video showing the products that I didn't get a chance to see today, and I will put all of this to the test more. I'd like to get to the point where I do an end of the month review on the products that I've shown you, so hopefully that will happen. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Share with all your friends. Go follow me on Instagram. That will help me out so much. I'm trying to grow that, and I will see you later. Bye.